Okay, let's look at multiplying polynomials. So let's say you've got an expression like 4x times 3. It probably wouldn't be written like this. It might be written more like 4x times 3. So it makes it confusing if you've got the x as a variable right next to the multiplication sign. So let's say we've got something like this. Whenever you multiply, it doesn't matter what the order is that you multiply it, you just have to multiply it out. Now, for this one, 4x times 3, what's going on is actually you have 4 times x times 3. Okay? And it makes it quite simple. You can figure out what 3 times 4 is, but we don't know what the x is. So let's write that out. We're going to do 3 times 4 times x. We know that 3 times 4 is 12 times x, so we just write it as 12x. So 4x times 3, you just take the actual numbers that you know and multiply them together, and you leave the, uh, the variable alone. However, let's say you had 4x times 3x, okay? Changes things a little bit because now you have 4 times x times 3 times x. What you want to do is you want to again bundle the actual numbers together. 4 times 3 is 12 times x times x. Well, an easier way to write that instead of 12 times x times x or just put them in brackets is we have two x's that we're multiplying together and so we do x squared because by now you would have learned somewhere along the line that x times x equals x squared or 3 times 3 is 3 squared. So 4x times 3x, we break it apart into the different parts that it has, and then we simplify it by going with the numbers first, and then the variable second, to end up with our final answer of 12x squared. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you've got further questions or comments. And have a great day.